what are kidney stones so kidney stone as you as you uh, mentioned that uh, there is a uh, basically uh, mineralization of the uh, calcium and uh, various other subject and because of the concentration of these substances in the kidney and urine there are formation of the stones so there are various types of stone the most common type of stone is calcium oxalate stones and uh, which is uh, made by the mixture of calcium and oxalate and concentration of them in the urine and then there is calcium phosphate stone then uh, uh, there are uh, cysteine stone cysteine stone these are actually they because of the genetic abnormality usually seen in the young children then there are uric acid stones uric acid stones are uh, uh, usually uh, seen in excessive meat eaters sometime but not in all this is also because of the metabolic abnormalities and then there are strobite stone strobite stone is infective stone if somebody has double uh, recurrent or the infection of the urine tract sometimes these large stones are formed which are called strobite stone then there are many condition which causes so most of the time 50 60% of the time uh the cause is not known most of the people they have excessive calcium uh, which is absorbed from their uh, gut and which causes the stones in the uh, uh, urine and uh, uh, but but many time there are some genetic diseases which can cause these types of these stones so so there are a lot of uh, region but one important thing is that whatever type of stone is there Uh, drinking adequate water adequate water means uh, water more than 3 liters per day helps in reducing the reformation of this usually if a stone is small less than 6 or 7 mm 7 mm then it can spontaneously pass in the urine most of the time if a stone is more than that because your urine uh, uh, tube which is called ureter its diameter is 7 mm Six seven. So if your stone is more than nine or ten mm, then it is unlikely to pass. If it is stuck in your urinary tract, then one has to remove it by the various endoscopic method which are available nowadays. If you don't do that and the stone is remains in the urinary tract for a long period of time, then it can cause kidney damage and later on kidney failure. so so it will depend where is the stone if the stone is bigger than that then you need other techniques to remove those stones so usually the smaller stones they can pass spontaneously most of the time but bigger stone need to be removed otherwise they can cause the damage of the kidney there are various method nowadays there are laser laser method there is endoscopy method there is a uh, surgical method so there are many techniques so that depends on the type of the stone size of the stone location of the stone that's how you and that is a separate actually a totally separate talk but but uh, uh, the depends if you take care of the stone on time then you can save your kidney unfortunately most of the people they don't understand the nitty gritties of these things they go to the sometime alternative treatment and the small stone they pass spontaneously big stone they remain and they damage their kidney which is actually a very important preventable cause of kidney disease